Hello LEGO fans, adult fan of LEGO UK here and welcome to my review of set 10216. This is the Winter Village Bakery. So this is carrying on with the Winter Village theme. Um, I've already done an unboxing um, with regards to this set and I'll put a link down to that video down in the description. Also down in the description will be links to the other Winter Village themed or Winter themed sets um, that I've already unboxed um, and reviewed. So let's get into the review. Okay guys, where well, we can see the set all built and complete in front of us. And again, I think this is another fantastic looking set. I think all these sets from the Winter, Winter Village theme are all really cool sets. I think they look fantastic. Um, and as you get more and more of these sets, um, like I have or stroke am doing, once you put them all together on a display, I think they look pretty spectacular actually. So I'm really, really, really pleased with um, this theme and this set has not let me down at all. So this set was 2010 this was released in. Um, this actually has seven and a half minifigures, which is uh, obviously a little bit unusual, but when I get round and actually show you a close up, you'll see where the half element um, of the minifigures are. So without further ado, let's have a quick look at the minifigures. First up, this is our assuming owner of our tree sellers stand. This light on. There we go. Okay, so black legs. You can see the light blue torso there with the orange dungarees on. On the front torso printing, no rear torso printing. He's got the single sided face, which you can see there. He's wearing this grey beanie hat. So that is our first minifigure. Okay, next up we have, this is again from the tree salad stand, but this is the me minifigure that is riding the horse drawn cart, which is obviously delivering the Christmas trees. Again, we can see there the front torso printing. Nothing on the rear, so there's no rear printing at all. You can see his face there with his beard and he's got some glasses on some spectacles and he wears this little black cap almost like a chauffeur's cap so that's our second minifigure okay next up we have this young child a young boy Let's see there I can get that in you can see there is some front torso printing nothing on the rear he's wearing uh, sorry holding an apple which we can see there that's because in this scene he's actually um, feeding that apple to the horse um, which is obviously going around delivering the um, Christmas trees so he has this accessory here which represents kind of the hood to the jacket that he's wearing but this does come off so we just slip this off like so and we can see his face underneath you get a better look of that torso print in there as well and again single sided face and that just simply slots back on like so and obviously the shorter legs um, to represent the child. Okay next up we have our baker. See there he's holding this tray of freshly cooked cakes, the little cupcakes. You can see there. So I'm just going to remove that from his hand. So first off, you can see his chef's gown or apron. The front torso print in there. Nothing on the rear, so no rear printing at all. You can see his face printing. Again, there's this grey beard. His chef's hat here. Let's take that off. We can see again. There's no rear face printing um, on our chef at all and he has these grey legs so that's our um, our baker okay next up we have the baker's wife um, she's holding this box here 
And this box is obviously from the baker, so that's going to be full of lovely cakes. See there? Just remove that. So the piece, sorry, that is a sticker um, on there. So this is just a 2x2 two two tile on top of a 2x2 uh, two two, um, brick. Okay, so the actual lady herself, first off, she has a skirt on, if you can see there. Okay, a front torso printing. And a bit of rear torso printing as well. You can see her face, obviously wearing the red lipstick. She has this brown hairpiece, we just remove that. Okay, so there we can just see there's only the rear torso printing down at the bottom and a single sided um, face. So that is the baker's wife. Okay, next up we have this female and this is actually one of the skaters who's on the ice skating rink. So we start with the bottom there, you can see she's actually wearing some ice skates. See her front torso printing with a pink scarf, no rear torso printing her face again wearing some lipstick she has this blonde hair piece and it is a single sided face so that is our first skater ok next up we have our second skater we see this is a young person, I assume it's a little boy with his shorter legs and again you can see there He's wearing the skates, so this one has black ice skates on. Um, he has a black torso with no printing. Um, you can see there, just made that out. He's wearing, holding this pretty cool looking camera. There you go, quite a good shot of that there. Just move that arm down. Let's move that camera out of the way. Let's see his face printing. He's got this black hair piece on. And this one, I believe, does have a second face. So obviously the sad face and the happy face. But we want him to be happy. It's a winter scene. He's ice skating. So obviously he's taking a photo there on the ice skating ring. rink. Okay, so that is our ice skating boy. Hey guys, so the final minifigure is the half minifigure I refer to, so I'm just going to show you that. It's actually in the ice skating rink. I'm just going to bring this forward so we can see. Hopefully, if this will focus, you can see these legs here. That's obviously our half person. You can see, he's got his ice skates on. What this represents is he's gone skating along the rink, like this lady is here, and then gone head over heels into a big pile of snow, um, which is there, so where there's obviously some snow that's drifted at the end of the ice skating ring, and he's gone head first and buried himself in it. So that is our half minifigure. Okay, so on to the actual set itself. First thing I'm going to show you is the tree sallows stand. Let's bring this into shot. There we go. So there's the front of the stand. Up here is that's a sticker on a plate, but you can obviously see there you can buy small trees and larger trees. So small tree is a hundred and a large tree is two hundred. It's the expensive trees, so they better be good. You see the roof there and the different colours. Um, on the counter here, he's obviously got his mug of, um, I'm assuming, a warm drink to keep him warm in the winter weather. Uh, if we look on that side there, there is a broom brush. And then on this side is a shovel or spade. We go around to the rear, um, obviously, very basic. Obviously, we can 
stand one of the minifigures in there if we want to, or behind there I should say. Um, then he could obviously be working actually behind the tree seller's stand. Okay, next up is the horse and cart. Okay, this is a pretty little cool part of this set. I'm just going to bring in first of all, there we go, you see the horse. The horse does have this printing on its face and its snout on obviously both sides. The head of the horse can adjust um, up and down. It's stiff, but it will move up and down. There we go. Feet are fixed, so all the legs are fixed in place. Um, I was a bit surprised that they put in. You have this black brick over its body. I would have thought. Well, they could have come up with something better than that, maybe some sort of saddle piece or at least the same colour. Um, yeah, it just doesn't quite match. Um, but anyway, that's obviously a matter of opinion. So, working back to the actual um, carriage itself, you can see here it does swivel, so it's obviously on some sort of um, hinging mechanism. Um, I think the wheels do look good on this. There you go, have a shot of that one. So, obviously, all the wheels do spin independently. Um, while we're on that side we can see there clipped onto the side is an axe. Okay, if we work our way round again wheels onto the back um, there is some sort of decoration on there for obviously the winter Christmas thing. And again round that side um, up here on this side clipped on is a whip obviously if we need to get the horse moving along. Um, in the back we obviously have a Christmas tree which he's obviously just um, sold and on his way to deliver. I'm just going to put that to one side for a minute just to show you that these do all come down as well. So you have this um, rear door here which comes all the way down so you can obviously put your tree in but not only does that one come down you can also put all the sides down as well. So you can have a completely open and flat bed to the truck like so. Okay, well that's down. You can see our minifigures obviously now sat back in, but this is a seat. It's an actual seat piece. If I just take that out, you can see there. You can see the seat. And I will just put him back in. Put the sides back up. And the back goes up simply like that. So that is our little horse drawn cart with the horse. Okay, next up the ice skating ring. You had a brief look at this when I showed you the half minifigure. Um, I'll give you a bit of a better look now. Quite a cool little element to this set. Um, so you've seen the minifigures already, but you can see them in place um, actually on that set there. You've got these little translucent blue plates. I think these are 8x8 eight eight plates. They are pretty cool. I've never seen these before, personally. Um, at the rear here, we have obviously two trees, one large and one small. I'll just show you a 360 of it. There we go. And spin back there, we have here. This is a bench, which we can see which the little boy there is standing in front of. You can see that bench there and how that's made. Okay, then we have these posts, one here with a red flag on it, and one here again with a red flag on there. And then going obviously from that post right over to the other post is this line of lights, which we can see um, there. Let's get those in, there you go, red, green, red, green. And on top of that, that pole, there is an owl. So there's an owl perched himself up the